What everyone wants to know is when will this COVID-19 pandemic come to an end? What we've been hearing over and over again is that it will take 70 to 85% of the population being vaccinated in order to bring this pandemic to an end. This will be even higher when we consider that children are not currently eligible. So adults need to make an even higher effort to be vaccinated. Where does this 70 to 85% number come from? If you take a look at the pathogens that cause human disease, there is something that we measure contagiousness by, and this is called the reproductive number. This is the amount of people that one contagious person will infect if everybody around them is susceptible to that disease. For example, if you take a look at measles, which is the most infectious pathogen known to man, you can see that one person will infect 12 to 18 other people. The number for COVID-19 is repeatedly five. That is one person who's contagious will infect five other individuals if they're all susceptible. If you take a look at this graph, you can take a look at the other pathogens that have a reproductive number around five, and you can see that the vaccine coverage that is needed in your family, in your community, in your state, in the country, in the world, is going to need to be about 70 to 85% coverage. What if we don't reach that coverage? What if we don't reach 70 to 85% vaccination? What we know right now is that people are being very, very careful. This latest winter surge was really devastating. Lots of hospitalizations, lots of people died. Because of this, cases are falling. And one of the greatest concerns, even though we're very excited that cases are falling, is that people may become complacent. People might think, oh, the cases are falling. And as the season changes, as the weather warms up, as the days become longer and summer comes, the cases are very, very likely to go to near zero, just like they did last fall. But will it really be gone? What will happen if people say, oh, see, I didn't need to worry. See, I didn't need to become vaccinated. What will happen is that next winter, if we do not reach 70 to 85% vaccination, COVID-19 will in fact resurface as a seasonal virus, just like everybody expected. If you remember this past winter, everyone expected that COVID-19 would rear its head at three times, four times, five times the peak of what we saw in the summer. And that's exactly what happened. So it will come back again and it will produce nursing home outbreaks, community outbreaks, and a lot of hospitalizations and death if we cannot protect the population in time. How do we know that this is likely to be true? Many of us remember the H1N1 flu pandemic of 2009. What we don't realize is after vaccination, for at least eight years after H1N1's pandemic came to an end, H1N1 was the dominant flu strain that produced hospitalization and death year after year, every winter season. This is why we're very concerned about getting everybody vaccinated before the next winter season starts to allow COVID-19 to spread again. It will take us years to bring it under control if we cannot get very, very high community vaccination rates. Can I stop masking the moment I'm vaccinated? There's lots of people who are just aching to be able to return to normalcy. But right now we need to remember that this pandemic affects us in a way that we need to behave together. This is a pandemic of a contagious virus. And because it's contagious, we have to do everything we can to act and behave in a group behavior to be able to protect ourselves. This SARS-CoV-2 virus is going to wax and wane by the season and based upon human behavior and the speed that we can get vaccines distributed. Public health will eventually decide when it is safe to stop masking. This is likely when the cases fall to very low levels and when the vaccine uptake is substantially high enough to ensure that we are all protected. We are in this pandemic together. We need to encourage good behavior and we need to protect one another until we can get the vaccine to very high levels.